Hi, welcome to the demonstration of ADF4401A, a wideband translation loop PLL. My name is Erkan Ajar and I will walk you through the features of this device. Before we get started with the details, let's review the basics of PLL topology and understand how translation loop devices work. Phase-locked loop devices work by comparing a reference to a divided output frequency. The in-band phase noise can be calculated using the formula shown here, based on figure of merit, phase frequency detector frequency, and the divider value. Let's use some numbers as an example. Translation loop replaces the divider with a mixer. By down-converting the frequency to the reference frequency, we can effectively reduce the divider value to 1. Let's update the equation. As you can see, the noise can be reduced by about 34 dB. We can conclude that the translation loop significantly reduces the in-band phase noise. Let's summarize the features of ADF4401A. The RF bandwidth is 62.5 MHz to 8 GHz. The IF output power is plus 13 dBm. IF ranges from 50 MHz to 1300 MHz. LO isolation is about 80 dB, there is a built-in EMI shield, and the package size is 18 mm by 18 mm. And the jitter is about 7 femtoseconds RMS integrated in the 1 kHz to 100 MHz range. This eval board has all the building blocks needed for the operation of the ADF4401A. The circuit implementation of the ADF4401A device is shown here. The first step is to auto-calibrate the internal VCO of the ADF4401A to pick the correct VCO band. This is achieved by using the auto-calibration circuit shown here. Once the calibration is done, the translation loop is enabled by switching in the phase frequency detector HMC3617. The IF output of the ADF4401A will be compared to an external IF signal and through the loop shown here, the frequencies will be locked. Let's take a look at the output spectrum of the ADF4401A device using a spectrum analyzer. We are sweeping the output from 4 GHz to 8 GHz in 500 MHz steps. As you can see, the output spectrum of the device is very clean. Notice that there are no spurs shown here where the noise level is about 80 dBc. As we move higher in frequency, we don't see any LO signal leakage. The built-in shielding of the device eliminates the feed-through of all the LO and other mixing products. The resulting spectrum is free from spurs you would normally see in discrete implementations. Once again, this is a result of the built-in shielding we use in this design. Let's switch to the phase noise measurements. As you can see, the phase noise is exceptionally good. You can see the jitter is about 8 to 7 femtosecond at the frequencies we are using in these measurements. Once again, the integration range for the jitter is from 1 kHz to 100 MHz. The ultra low phase noise of the ADF4401A device makes it a great LO source for millimeter wave frequency devices. Here is an example signal chain constructed using ADF4401A and other devices. As shown here, the EVM performance of the signal chain using ADF4401A device is much better than using a traditional PLL-based LO. In addition, using ADF4401A, we can achieve equal or better EVM performance compared to a commercial benchtop signal generator. To close the discussion, I'd like to summarize the key benefits of ADF4401A. ADF4401A enables ultra-low phase noise and jitter performance, enabling instrument-grade performance. Fully integrated and shielded compact device reduces the overall design footprint. Analog devices provides reference designs for the IF and LO signals, which are required for the operation of the ADF4401A device. To find more information, visit us at analog.com slash instrumenting5g.